to my male friends in the audience, I'm sorry. Right. You gotta be in physical shape. So right. yeah, I, I prepare. I try to stay healthy. I try to do something physical. Hit the gym and throw some weights around. Protein sweats. <sighs> I'm struggling. What's going on, everyone? It's Asil Suede. In this video, I'm going to be attempting a day in the diet of Brad Pitt. So I'm going to eat like Brad Pitt for a day, aka Mr. Stereo Girl, aka the guy you should most definitely be worried about. Oh, Lord! He's looking fly! <laughs> Lord! Look, whether he's 28 years old or 56 years old, it's freaking Brad Pitt. Um. I have absolutely nothing else to say about that. He has like the best reputation possible in Hollywood. The guy's winning at life, but look guys, I am going to be attempting Brad Pitt's diet for his movie role in Fight Club. So he was super lean. The guy was looking chiseled, looked great. Pretty much at the time of when that movie came out, every dude and their mother, yes, even their mother wanted to look like Brad Pitt. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be taking you all through his diet and doing a ton of research online. I found out that his diet consisted of almost 3,000 calories coming from seven super clean meals, which contained 285 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein for a guy like Brad Pitt. But anyways, guys, with that being said, before I get started with showcasing all seven meals in Brad Pitt's diet, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what foods and groceries are gonna be needed for today's celebrity dinner diet. So let's go ahead and get in the kitchen, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so I've got everything needed for Brad Pitt's Fight Club all laid out on the table. So starting off, we have some whey protein powder, and then we're gonna need some raisins, some tuna in water, some chicken breast, brown rice, and then also bananas, and then we also have some gluten-free bread, a lot of broccoli, and also a pack of whole eggs and egg whites. And look, we're gonna need a whole lot of these. I'm gonna eat almost the entire pack, seriously. You're gonna see, watch the entire video, it's absolutely nuts. But anyways guys, with that being said, it is officially time to start with meal number one. Let's get to cooking. So we've just got done preparing meal number one and stick with me here because this is absolutely insane because meal number one is going to consist of seven whole eggs. Yes, seven whole eggs. I don't even think that's healthy, but when you're Brad Pitt, you can do whatever you want, including eating seven whole eggs. But anyway, seven whole eggs with six egg whites cooked as well, along with approximately 75 grams of dried oats with a serving of raisins on top. This is a very interesting meal. I don't think I've ever heard of any celebrity day in the diet or kind of Hollywood person eating seven whole eggs in the morning. I feel like Rocky Balboa or something, but. Brad Pitt, you're a savage, man. What can I say? You astonish me. Not just your looks, too. Ugh, this reminds me of my college days. Seriously, I used to live on whole eggs and egg whites because it's like the cheapest protein source out there. So if you're a college student, you're in university, or if you're shopping or trying to eat on a budget, eggs, my friend, they are a great source of protein and fat that are super cheap. But seven, don't think you should eat seven in one meal. Not a good idea. Ah, uh, so many eggs. Okay, that was a record-breaking amount of eggs that I just ate in one sitting. But anyways, now it is time to move on to the painfully depressing oatmeal with raisins. So now that I think about it, I haven't eaten raisins since I was like a 12-year-old child. 
Okay, wow. What a savagely strong start to Brad Pitt's diet. Seven whole eggs with six egg whites and oatmeal with raisins. I don't even think you can get better or worse than that. But anyways, moving on to meal number two. I'll see y'all for that in just a moment. So I've got meal number two, AKA Brad Pitt's magnificent mid-morning snack, which is going to include two slices of gluten-free bread and a can of tuna and water inside. Now, I personally put a little bit of Dijon mustard inside just so I have a chance at survival, AKA I don't aggressively choke on this. So let's go ahead and give this a go. Oh yeah, it's pretty dry. You know what guys, I'm not a huge fan of tuna, but I'm not even gonna complain about this because the last celebrity day in the diet that I did, which was Chris Hemsworth, he was eating tuna on top of plain rice cakes with tomatoes on top, so. <gasps> this beats it by a long shot. Thank you, Brad Pitt. Okay, even with the Dijon mustard, that was still pretty dry. But meal number two has been completed with relative ease. Tuna, another great cheap source of protein. Wow, this really is taking me back to my college days. Meal number one did, now again, I'm having nostalgia during meal number two. But seriously, I used to live on canned tuna and whole eggs and egg whites because it's a super cheap source of protein. So trying to make gains on a budget, tuna, and eggs, that is your go-to. Anyways, I'm gonna try to give little tips throughout these meals and videos. Let me know if you enjoy this. Give the video a like if you do. Let me know in the comment section down below. Rather than y'all just watching me eat all the time, I figured why not throw a little tips and tricks that really helped me out throughout my fitness journey. But anyways, let's move on to meal number three in just a bit. Moving on to meal number three. This is going to consist of nine ounces of cooked boneless skinless chicken breast with a cup of steamed broccoli and a cup of brown rice. Now I'm gonna call this one the Brad Bro meal. So all of you bros out there who aspire to be like Brad Pitt, which is all of us fellow bros, this is your go-to meal. Anyways, let's give this a try. Okay, wow, I actually didn't butcher this chicken. The bro me is so proud right now. Okay, so I am definitely team white rice over team brown rice. Let me know in the comment section down below what you prefer, but I figured I'd get into this real quick because people are constantly asking me, should I just stick to brown rice or can I eat white rice even if my goal is to lose body fat? Yes, you can totally eat white rice. It's really what you prefer. So what you should focus on is your total carb intake or your total calorie goal for the day. As long as you're in a calorie deficit, which means you're burning more calories than you're consuming, then you're fine. Doesn't matter if you ate brown rice or white rice for a specific carb source in a specific meal. Okay, all bro jokes aside, I think it is really important that I covered that topic about white rice over brown rice and total carb intake for the day along with your total calorie goal and how that's what's most important, what matters most because there is a lot of bro science clouded around the fitness industry. So remember guys, total calorie goals for the day and your macronutrient goals as well. That's what matters the most. Okay, and there you have it. The Brad Bro meal has been finished in a mannerly bro fashion. Anyways, guys, we have got meal number four before we get started with our training. So let's get to that soon. I'll see you all in just a little moment. So we've got meal number four, which is going to be the pre-workout meal. Now nothing says pre-workout like a good old protein shake and a banana. So that's exactly what we've got going on. I have one scoop of some impact whey protein powder by my protein, vanilla flavored, and then also of course one banana. We're gonna go ahead and just start off with this banana, all right? Okay, let's try like two bites here. Well, that was very pleasant. Okay, on to the protein shake. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you slam down a protein shake. Anyways, as usual, I am using the Impact Whey Protein Powder by My Protein, vanilla flavored. I think vanilla is the best flavor for those that are constantly asking. Of course, I will link this specific whey protein powder in the description box down below in case you want to pick it up yourself. Make sure you use the discount code SEAL40 at or a SEAL VIP at checkout so you save 40% off, okay? Anyways, guys. It is time to get to a workout, AKA a home workout, because gyms have yet to be open due to the COVID-19 situation, but we've still been kicking absolute butt and doing a really good job at staying in shape at home. So let's get to it, all right? So I just got done with an epic workout. By the way, for those of you who are constantly wondering what in the world my workouts look like, I follow my five days per week workout plan in my 12 week physique program. You can click the first link in the description box down below to check out my 12 week physique for 30% off in case you wanna pick that up yourself. However, in the meantime, since I can't weight train, I've just been doing home workouts. So that's exactly what I've been up to for my training as of now. However, again, I do follow my 12 week physique as usual. But anyways, we are moving Okay, let's try that again. We are moving on to the next meal, AKA meal number five, which is going to be the post-workout meal. And we have got ourselves another protein shake and along with a banana. Now speaking about the Brad protein shakes, if you wanna see me attempt Brad Pitt's workout plan, for Fight Club, then make sure you drop a like on this video. If we can get this video to over 5,000 plus likes, I will get that video to you as soon as possible when gyms reopen. But anyways, let's go ahead and first off, kill this banana. We're gonna save the Brad protein shake for after the banana, okay? All right, moving on to the protein shake. Ah, it gets easier and easier every time the bro in me starts to come out. Anyways, that is going to conclude meal number five. We are going to move on to meal number six in just a little bit. Gonna take some time to rest and recuperate. See you guys then. So I've got meal number six, which is going to be yet another Brad bro meal. Now, I'm really not looking forward to this, guys. I've had so much protein already, and yet again, Brad slaps us with six ounces of cooked boneless, skinless chicken breast, a cup of brown rice, and a cup of steamed broccoli, which is already super filling. This is as filling as it gets, and of course, it's as bro as it's ever gonna get, but we are following the man Brad's meal plan for the day, so cheers. <music> I'm seriously about to morph into a chicken breast right now. Uh, okay, I'm actually struggling right now. I feel like my alter ego, Tyler Durden right now is just right there in the corner, staring me down, telling me to finish his chicken, brown rice, and broccoli, but I don't know, Tyler. I don't know, man. But speaking about Tyler Durden, Fight Club has got to be one of my all-time favorite movies by Brad Pitt. Actually, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a banger of a movie. If you have not seen that yet, and you're looking for a really good movie to dive into during this quarantine, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, amazing, seriously. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite Brad Pitt movie or movie that Brad Pitt stars in. And also, drop a like on the video if you are a fan of Brad Pitt, which if you're not, kind of question you, man. Ah, uh, protein sweats. <sighs> Uh, all right, I hardly got through that meal. I was talking to like Tyler Durden over there for quite a while. I don't know, I'm starting to hallucinate seeing Brad Pitt right now. <sighs> I'm struggling.
Moving on to the last and final meal of the day, which is going to be meal number seven. This is gonna consist of yet again another Brad protein shake, which is a scoop of vanilla impact whey protein powder. Wow, I seriously have the protein sweats right now. I'm getting a headache. I didn't even know you can get a headache from too much protein, but that's about where I'm at right now. So, cheers. Oh, okay, it is not healthy at all to feel this way after 285 grams of protein in just one day. But anyways, the total amount of macros and calories in Brad Pitt's diet consisted of 2,895 calories, coming from 266 grams of carbs, 77 grams of fat, and 285 grams of protein. Guys, I don't know what trainers, what scientists, what nutritionists, what other 100 other people, these huge A-list Hollywood actors hire for them to get them in shape. I have no idea why they are assigning people like Brad Pitt 285 grams of protein. Please do not copy this diet plan. Most people are not going to need 285 grams of protein. Just stick to 0.8 all the way up to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass and you're gonna be just fine when it comes to effectively and efficiently building lean muscle mass. But anyways, if you do need help with your diet and you need me to set you up with your own diet plan, then click the second link in the description box down below for a personalized meal plan. And also make sure you like the video right now and let me know in the comment section down below after you're giving the video a like, which other celebrity day in the diet you wanna see next. Of course, whatever is most requested, I will get to as soon as possible. And of course, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button right now. Seriously, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell right next to it so you're constantly being updated on when I'm dropping new YouTube videos every single week. And then also follow me on Instagram at The Seal Suede. I've been posting every single day on there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see every single one of you in the next video.